Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video. And in today's video, it is that time again. It is the grandest party of them all. And we have three new Super Sugos to test in this particular game mode. And in today's video, we're going to start it off with day one, utilizing the transforming Yamato. Now, Dex, Quick, Strikers, Slashes, they all get some crazy buffs. And Yamato actually is a striker slasher, plus buffs, dex, and quick. So we're going to take advantage of that and try her out in Grand Party. Let me know if you guys are trying out any of the new characters in Grand Party or on some PvP teams and where you're using them down below. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, bell the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification as well so you don't miss out on any of the Grand Party content. You know we love doing the big damage teams over here. So if you guys want to check it out, hit that bell notification. With that said, let's check out Transforming Yamato in some grand party content. All right, so as always, there's gonna be gear five, six pluses running around like crazy. So we're gonna take on some gear five, six pluses. Now gear five, six plus is still the best leader in the game, if you ask me. I've been doing a lot of testing sort of early on on my lunch break at work and stuff like that. And gear five, he, he just goes absolutely crazy. You still have stuff like crazy strength teams, even though quick is like super boosted, at the moment, and that's what we're using as our first lineup, because this guy's actually using strength in the front. But we are going to be taking on some pretty risky opponents. We have a lot of retries and refreshes that we can use, so I'll use them here and there if I need to. And if you don't, you'll probably see it as as, as it comes. But one of the teams that I have put, put together is a slasher quick centric team with Roger and Odin. Five slashes, eight man quick team. I'm using the new wipe as well. He's actually pretty good. Um, he buffs strikers, but is a quick slasher as well. So he's a great bench unit at 20 cost. You can use stuff like smoothie to roll back specials. So that way you can just basically stop the enemy from utilizing their specials. Now, ideally, I would like to use my uh, free spirit team first. Most of the time, when using Yamato, you do want to try and use a bulky ass team at the front. One that's going to take a lot of damage. And then that way you can actually build up the... Uh, the shield that Yamato actually gives. Now, Yamato gives a shield and a counter mechanic, as well as giving you level 10 attack buff and then nerfing the enemy. Now, this counter goes absolutely AWOL, but it's only for slashes and strikers, so it would work great for this particular team. However, when strength's at the front, we can basically just guarantee ourselves a win, move on to the second fight, and then just go burst for burst, and that way we don't, we don't have to worry about it too much. Now, Izo Kiku and Shiryu are very good against strength units. However, they're both exceptional on the team anyway. Shiryu gives a lot of cooldowns. You can put him in the middle in case he dies. Izo Kiku have a pretty good passive for speed, so they work exceptionally well, even if I'm not versing strength, or if there's only a couple of strength units floating around. Stuff like Strikers, stuff like Slashes, uh, even like the free spirit team can have a abundance of um, strength units on it. And then taking a shot like that from Luffy buffs our um, burst as well. Now, the thing with Yamato, if you're looking at Yamato versus Gear 5, obviously Yamato charges her burst the same way that Gear 5 charges his. He has to deal damage. We want to take damage. So the ideal situation um, doesn't sort of rock out when you do move into the second fight. Now... We're going to have that go right as we enter the second the second stage with our Free Spirit team. Now, Free Spirit are just exceptional at tanking damage. Like, they're just... They're so, so good. So, whenever the enemy has a burst ready to go, I'm always going to look at switching my Free Spirit to the middle slot and then just letting Free Spirit do its thing. Now, remember, with the uh, Gear 5 burst, it will charge your burst. So, if you can actually get... The Yamato burst off before you actually get um, the the Gear Five to go. I think it's exactly the same at 54k. I'm fairly certain it's 54k, and the AI stereotypically has just like a faster like a faster reaction time, especially in this particular situation. So um, we'll see how we go. Okay, I got mine off first, which is awesome because it's gonna give me a shield, which means that we should be able to tank a gear 5 burst if it comes our way, but the enemy obviously has to use the, the burst in that for, sort of 10 second realm, which is very unlikely, because like 10 seconds is such a short window in, G in, uh, sorry, in PvP, that now they're going to throw out their burst. Now, fortunately, I did lose my uh, Otama special. Uh, we're going to take this burst. It's going to fully charge us back up, and that's a big reason why I did it, um, just so I can have that back ready to go. Ideally, I wanted to try and have the shield in that sort of window, but hey, Beggars can't be choosers, and choosers never get the, what they want, right? So, we're going to lose our timer here. At the end of the day, if we can soak up two bursts with free spirit, like, 
we're going to be in a really good spot. Zora also got the um, the extra counter stance. Now he's got Provoke, which he, he does that anyway. Uh, so that's why, like, Free Spirit, I thought was always going to be good at the start. But look, there could be another team that I'm sort of glossing over when it comes to Yamato. I could probably use Strikers. However, I'm using a Slash team with Roger Whitebeard. Uh, and I just find Free Spirit's just so good at soaking up damage. Like, it's just... It's... It's a very, very solid team at just tanking shots. So that way you can bait out either the double burst or you can build up your burst and still win that first kind of fight. But I don't exactly think Yamato is the be-all or end-all. I don't think she's anything too crazy for what um, the other characters offer or what Gear 5 actually offers. Like, like watching Gear 5 do this is just... like You can't really compare with that. Roger and Odin, though, they're, they're kind of, they, have, they have been impressing me today. Um, but when you just do that and you hit the entire team for damage that goes through defense, it's very, very hard to compete with. However, this is where the true power of Yamato actually shines. Now, when we move into a fight straight off the bat, now we're versing um, a dex team here. Ideally, you'd use strength slashes in this situation. Um, but I did bring Cracker onto this lineup and I took off KDAD. Now, KDAD's amazing, like exceptional. They give a lot of defense, but Yamato already gives a lot of defense. So I thought... I'll take KDAT off and bring Cracker in because I really want to get as much CD reduction as possible. Now, we have a 50-second counter. Legit, half of this fight is going to be us countering. Plus, the enemy um, doesn't have their specials right now. So, we are hitting them for just, like, super cash damage of... Oh, I just missed it. Blackbeard's taking 3,500 with his shots. Now, Yamato puts up a massive... 80% uh, HP cut, and then she special binds two units, which works exceptional. And the idea here was to either get Zora Sunch to go now, because we have Brook on the bench, as you guys can see in that little picture there. He brings everyone forward with haste, and now we just go to the absolute moon with stuff like Roger Whitebeard, where the crack is gone already. And now we just start binking out characters. We start killing, um, taking out units, left, right, and center, and it just goes absolutely crazy. I kept Odin for the CD reduction. I kept him for the fixed damage. Um... And now, basically, like, we're just relying on Yamato's counter. Like, Yamato's counter is just so good. However, now that the new enemies come in, we, um, we can't really do too much about that. So, apologies about the, the ringer. So, this one's basically going to be a wrap. I'm going to end this one. We'll see you in the next fight. All right, so on to the next fight now. We're up against another Gear 5. This one's a bit of a weird one, but we're going to run it the way that, uh, we intentionally built the teams. With the Free Spirit team in the front. Then we've got our... Uh, quick team at the back to take on uh, the, the their strength team there. Now, Sai, Free Spirit are getting drastically nerfed this season. They're, they're copying a massive CD reduction if they're Free Spirit, which is what the team that we're using here. And then Sai cop a monster, 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 defense reduction, attack reduction. It's kind of disgusting. So you're not going to come up against too many uh, Sai teams. However, Free Spirit, it's still just disgustingly strong, honestly. Like, it's it's ridiculous. Now, we could have actually chucked on some other Free Spirit characters here. Um, make it a little bit more bulky. I feel like Otama's just great because she can actually give us a lot of uh, CD reduction. We're going to take a lot of damage here. Hit my revive characters. Beautiful. Now they've got their burst. We've got ours. Um, again, Free Spirit's just sort of here to just sort of soak up damage. Basically sort of bait out the first team. Call it a dub and then Find wins that you can kind of get with um, your back end, like your back two teams. However, as mentioned at, uh, in the first fight, like I said, Yamato, I don't know if I've sort of figured out the way she used her burst. This third team or this first free spirit team that you're kind of seeing here, it's kind of hit or miss. Um, it depends on what's going on. Like I said, it's great at just soaking up damage, and that's really what you want from your front line. You could easily run Dex, to be honest. Dex would be another really, really good option, um, and just sort of running that. But look, as you can see there, if the enemy has a really good team that just sort of gets the, the Luffy burst quickly, you can easily do stuff like that, bait out the burst, call it a day, and then move on to the second fight, where we start abusing that ability that I showed you guys with the counter mechanic. Now, they're very close to the next burst. However... We are using that pretty fast, crazy slasher team. And now it hits that point where if the enemy doesn't have uh, their burst, and we do, we can sort of pop it at the beginning here. Now, the downside is, is like I said with Yamato, is Yamato is basically, basically going to have access to 
her burst when you take damage. So I might look at changing the free spirit team for this final fight. We might try look at using decks because there's a bunch of slashes that we can bring there. We can use stuff like Pell and Dalton. Um, there's not a lot of strikers. We could probably use Kid or we could use V1 Yamato, I suppose. But um, I feel like, yeah, Dalton and Pell probably our best options. Maybe Morio. If we are coming up against quick, but I feel like like Verse Yamato is going to be the play there. But as you guys can see here, like we're throwing out two and two point eight k worth of counters here. Plus we have a whole bunch of speed. Roger Whitebeard goes to the absolute moon with their special massive HP cuts. Now this uh, counter mechanic can start to do some crazy stuff. We have all that haste with Zoro Sanji, and at this particular point, with that defense reduction, unfortunately. Do Flamingo coming in there just just increased the defense by crazy. Watch this eighty percent HP cut though. Boom, Can't take that, Dofi. <laughs> and a special bind on Pell, man. Yamato, she's weird in Rumble, man. She boosts Dex and Quick, which is great, but like, there's not a lot of units that are Dex and Quick in the Slasher sort of realm, because then her second part buffs Slashes. Very similar to Roger and Whitebeard. However, she's just not Roger Whitebeard, you know? Like, she just doesn't do that thing where she just kills units, but hey, we move. Um, this is going to hurt Cracker. Nah, he's alright. 19 special CD is kind of crazy. Um, they're going to throw out their specials now, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay, because uh, we're going to get our, our round back, and the counter is now going to sort of run out. The enemy still hasn't got their burst, which they'll possibly, well, they'll most likely get for that final fight, uh, but as soon as they use it, we can put up our shield, I believe, provided they don't use it here. Uh, we should lose Cracker here, but that's okay, because Kaku will come in. Kaku should do good damage to this team. It's, it's primarily Dex. Roger Whitebeard should kill another two units. Just don't hit Robin. Oh, of course you hit Robin. Like, why do I talk? Why do I, like, why do I talk? Alright. We can sort of say... Oh, look, I want them to use their burst, man. But then again, I don't. Because like, if they use their burst, we're kind, of, we're kind of screwed. You know what? We're going to skip this. Oh, they did use their burst. Roger Whitebeard survived it, and we won because of that. So now we go into the final fight with our burst ready. The enemy doesn't have a burst, but that's going to be A-OK. -okay, because we're going to showcase the counters of a, a quick team that's going up against a strength team, which is kind of nuts. Um, there's Luffy, there's Kaido, and all this sort of stuff too. But we have a lot of CD reduction at our disposal, and um, we should be in for a pretty good time here. Let's see how much these counters of Yamato do. Come on. So many buffs. So many buffs. We had a nice chunky shield. We have a lot of speed though too. 31 speed. So we're moving a lot faster than the enemy. But that's okay because the earlier you can get this up, the earlier the counters are going to kick in. Now this team doesn't have a lot of defense. As you can see, uh, 12 defense, we reduced it as well. Uh, and like, now we're going to like roll back specials with um, Smoothie. So that way, they're just going to keep throwing out normal attacks. We can special bind, so they're going to keep throwing out normal attacks. For the first 50 seconds, this team is just going to get absolutely decimated by their own their own attacks. So, it's just, you love to see it. We're going to get some more special bind here. Even though we're not hitting that hard, our counters are just going absolutely crazy. Special binding Luffy is huge. Fixed damage with Tesoro. Luffy's now dead. And then, uh, Odin and... Uh, Roger are going to give me a 50% CD reduction, so Smoothie's pretty much ready to go again, and then we can just sort of roll back specials again. We've still got our counter up, our counters are still doing damage, now we're hitting ridiculously hard, and at this particular point, like, if, you, if you're coming up against strength with this, like, quick team, it just, there's nothing that they can really do. Like, there's just nothing at all, but, uh, it's going to wrap up, uh, fight two. Let's move on. To the final fight of day one. Oh, come on. Surely that would... Come on, man. Look at that. Look at, look at the HP. Beautiful. Let's wrap up uh, day one, showcasing Yamato. All right, so time to wrap it up. We're going to play to our strengths. We have a strength Psy and then a quick team to go up against under gear five. So we're going to change it up a little bit. I did bring in that dex team that I spoke about. I think that's probably going to work a little bit nicer under Yamato. Free Spirit's great, but just without the buffs of Yamato and... Just the way that it sort of like free spirit works. Sanji and Zora are really the only characters that are getting anything from that team. Obviously, free spirit is just it's nerfed at the moment. It's working great under stuff like uh, Roger Odin. It was working great under stuff like Gear Five, but I think under like Yamato, it's probably just hit or miss. Um, 
So that is what it is. But Yamato overall, I do find is probably the weakest Rumble unit out of the three new characters. Uh, I think Roger and Odin are definitely the best. Um, they have shown to be just incredibly strong, incredibly valuable. Um, their burst is very similar to Gear 5 in the sense that they can kind of just kill three units, like, like frame one. Gear 5, oh, that's going to hurt. Gear 5 is very, very good at sort of wiping a team, but not frame one. Like, you'll be left with, like, like a bee's digger HP, and then you can kind of, like, salvage the fight from there, where Roger and Odin, at a, like, a significant investment, can probably just, like, end it for, for anyone, so... Fortunately, didn't notice that this particular opposition had Roger Whitebeard on the team. They're running strength slashes, and Roger Whitebeard, he's a game changer. Like, he he does, they do so much for whatever team they're on. Plus, they're running Jack, so very interesting uh, strength build here that is kind of uh, kind of tearing through my lineup, to be honest. Um, losing Shiryu is not that big of a deal, but um, the Roger Whitebeard effect is just, it's its something else. Like, it's its craziness. And then Jack has yet to go. But um, the HP cards are going to hurt. Ugh. I really don't want to... You know what? I'm actually going to do this. Don't die. Okay. This is going to give me a shield. So if the enemy does use their burst, it's going to do damage. But it's going to go through the shield. And then we're going to... We should be able to win this fight. Um, the second fight when they sort of bink their burst, uh, if, or if they bink at frame one, I should say, um, it's going to then charge our burst back up. So the shield is going to keep us alive here, which is great. Um, still alive. The shield is still alive for this, which is awesome. Um, this is... Okay, smoothie dying is kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, I need that... I need that Roger Odin special to go, man. Okay, the counters are kicking in now, which is awesome. Counters will keep us going until the end of the fight. Uh, but they do still have some uh, very annoying characters on the bench. Namely, Shiki, to be honest. Because we do have a lot of slashes here. We do have a lot of slashes. And if that Shiki pops off, we're in, for a, we're in for a rough one. So, we should win here, though. This should be the end. And uh, we should be in for a pretty good time. Beautiful. Okay, match set. Love that. On to the next fight now. We are going to take the burst straight away frame one but after that i am going to most likely use the burst just because sire are getting so drastically nerfed i would love to see how crazy the the counters actually go all right let's see how we go okay, here comes the burst don't die beautiful Okay. Now we can throw up our countering ability. Unfortunately, we don't have a way of healing on this team. That would be awesome. Um, but all of this nerfing now should be pretty strong. The enemy still has, after that burst, 20 defense. How much damage are they taking? Two and a half thousand from counters. Wow, okay. It's pretty, pretty big. The CD reduction is going to be great for us. We should just kill two units here. Just don't hit Luffy. Of course you hit Luffy. Why? Again, why do I talk? Why do I talk? I just say words and then things happen that just absolutely cock us. Like now, they have all their specials ready and then we're just, we're just absolutely screwed. But hey, it is what it is. The Yamato special. They're also going to get their burst ready. Oh, come on. Get it here. Get it for this fight. Get it for this fight. I want to go into the final fight. Like... Burst, no burst versus no burst. Yeah, sick. Alright, sick. They're going to use their burst here. They're going to win. That's fine. Let's move on to the final fight where we have Dex up against Quick. Um, this is where ideally I should have saved my burst, to be honest. Like, there, there was no real using, like, reason to actually use it here. Uh, but I kind of wanted to see how it goes. And if, if we lose here, we'll just die back in and we'll just, we'll just be better with our burst. Um, but I just wanted to see, like, how, how much damage we do against... Um, Again, Sire, even with all those buffs and all that craziness. So, um, let's see how we go. Alright. Beautiful. We have a lot of nerfing to quick on this team, especially on the bench. 
Uh, I could have easily put Moria in the front. I could have uh, easily put Sobble Mask in the front over something like Lin Lin and uh, Luffy. But I, I just wanted to sort of keep it in terms of like a traditional sort of quick team. This damage is kind of whatever. Yep. Now, oh, Blackbeard, come on, bro. There we go. Hitting everyone is very, very nice from good old Blackbeard. We have very, very low CD there after this. So this is where, like, our counters and stuff would have been really cool. Um, but again, we would have only really had two units actually getting the counters. Plus, quick team's very, very fast. Like, it's an exceptionally fast team. Depending on who you're using, though. We have a counter now with Luffy, which is uh, interesting, because we could have actually had, like, everyone with counters if we brought more into the front. But now, we just basically win. It's just going to be a wrap. But yeah, it's going to wrap up the video because I'm pretty good to skip the rest of this fight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of Yamato in the comment section below. If there's any improvements, anything I should change for the next time. If she's buffed again, we'll give her a run. But if you did enjoy the video, the belt like button. Hit the subscribe button. Do all that good stuff. Most importantly, whatever you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Night! Yeah, bada bing, bada boom!